Welcome back, everybody. This is part two of the King Kitsu's Voltron Paladin Armor cosplay tutorial. And in this video, I will be going over how to prepare your pieces of armor for hardening, sanding, and painting. For the material list of this video, uh, you will need Elmer's glue, smooth on 65D, a sander and some sandpaper, a dirty cloth, white gloss spray paint, and a few raggedy paint brushes. The next big step requires you to use a resin-like product called Smooth On 65D. Before you use this product, you will want to coat your pieces of armor with two or three layers of Elmer's glue. This helps the 65D stick to the foam. Sometimes when sanding the 65D, it tends to chip off, so this part is very important. Now that your layers of Elmer's glue have completely dry, it's time to add the 65D. Before getting into this product, you definitely need to make sure you wear gloves. It gets very irritating when in contact with the skin. Smooth on 65D cures extremely fast, so when you mix your even parts of A and B, you want to do it little by little. Since you are required to do it little by little, make sure you have a large supply of plastic cups and cheap brushes. After each use of the plastic cups and cheap brushes, you definitely want to toss them out because they won't be usable again. As soon as part A and part B are stirred in together, they will immediately start reacting. So make sure you apply as fast as you can. Because you are applying fast, make sure you have a mat underneath your foam so that it drips down onto the mat and won't get into your floor. The Smooth On 65D will apply clear but harden into a solid white. Once you get the hang of it, go ahead and apply two or three more layers. Once every layer of the Smooth On 65D has fully hardened, now it's time to move on to the sanding. When sanding, always make sure you wear a face mask and goggles for protection. There will be hardened driplets at the edges of the armor. You want to make sure you sand those down first with your Dremel. Now you can sand down for smoothness. I used a small hand sander that I bought off of Amazon that works pretty well. I began sanding down with the 80 grit paper and then I used 120 and moved up to 220. It takes a very long time to sand it down to perfectly smoothness, so I didn't. I just sanded it down until I was happy or until my arms just got too tired. Once you're done with all the sanding and you've got your preferred smoothness, it's time to brush away all the excess dust with a rag tile and take your pieces outside for painting. I used epoxy white coat for the armor which dries shiny and gives it a harder finish. I applied about 3-4 to four coats of this paint. When spray painting, always make sure you're outside and when you're outside, make sure there's no moisture in the air so that your paint doesn't crack. After the paint has dried, you can go back and repeat the sanding process and repaint if you want a smoother look. Before moving on to the next phase, you definitely want to try on all your pieces all at once, just to make sure the paint doesn't chip away or there is no chafing while moving. This was part 2 of the video. In part 3, I will go over the LED wiring and the final detailing of your armor pieces. Make sure you subscribe below for more updates and future contents. 